June 16, 1940, and the world's busiest, biggest, and greatest fair pauses to celebrate the 37th anniversary of the founding of the Ford Motor Company. It is Ford Day at the fair, and fair officials and exhibitors alike pay honor to the imagination and genius of the founder, Mr. Henry Ford. The colorful ceremonies center about the great Ford Exposition Building, situated on the highest point in the entire fairgrounds. Here, thousands of Ford dealers, employees, and friends joined with Edsel B. Ford and other company officials for the gala birthday party. Here, too, they gathered to welcome home the 28 millionth Ford car from its international goodwill tour of the United States, Canada, and Mexico. Fresh from its 14,000-mile trip across the boundaries of three great countries, the car, a symbol of the great bond between the Americas, arrives at the Fair Administration Building. Here at the official headquarters of the Fair Corporation, the car and its pilots receive the greetings of Mr. Harvey Gibson, board chairman of the 1940 New York World's Fair. Preceded by a band, escorted by motorcycle police, and followed by rainbow-hued cars from the Ford Road of Tomorrow, the Goodwill car parades through the broad, flag-bedecked avenues of the World's Fair on its way to be greeted by the expectant throng at the Ford Exposition Building. Home at last, and what an ovation the 28 millionth Ford car receives as it moves slowly into the garden court and to its place of honor on the platform. Mr. Edsel Ford extends a personal greeting as well as the official company welcome to the car's pilots as they step from the car at the end of the International Goodwill Tour. Many of the dealers present came from far distant parts of the United States. For three days, special trains and automobile caravans had been arriving at the Ford Exposition, bringing representatives and guests from Dearborn and other branches of the company throughout the country. Mr. Edsel Ford was introduced to the crowd that packed the garden court for the ceremonies by Mr. H. C. Doss, general sales manager, who was chairman of the day. In a short address, Mr. Ford hailed the 28 millionth car as a tribute to American industrial enterprise. He said it has a significance far beyond its number. It means millions and millions of dollars spent in wages and supplies and buildings and equipment. It means millions of jobs in related industries. It means more wages and jobs represented in the road building programs of the country. It means wider and greater markets for farmers and businessmen. It means greater freedom and better living for all of us. Holding the seats of honor on the platform were the five oldest Ford dealers in the country. Introduced by Mr. Doss, each veteran dealer took a bow. Stephen Tanvord of St. Cloud, Minnesota, William L. Hewson of San Francisco, Glenn E. Holmes of Chicago, Benjamin B. Trevor of Key West, Florida, John R. Millard of Kingston, New York. In response to the tribute paid these veteran dealers, the dean of them all, William L. Hewson of San Francisco, praised Henry Ford not only as a great manufacturer, but as a great American. Climaxing the program in the garden court, Ferdy Grofay, famous composer and conductor, led his New World Ensemble in the premier performance of his own new musical composition entitled An American Biography, The Life of Henry Ford. As the last notes of this descriptive composition faded away on the June breezes, the thousands of dealers and employees scattered to inspect in detail the cycle of production, the new Ford Playhouse, and the many interesting exhibits in the popular Ford Exposition Building. Yes, and to cavort and make merry throughout the 1,200 acres of the World's Fair grounds, to visit the great industrial and foreign exhibits, and to join with the happy crowds on the Great White Way. But beneath its mantle of fun, gaiety, and celebration, these dealers and employees knew that Ford Day held a deeper, more significant meaning. They knew that while it marked the 37th anniversary of the Ford Motor Company, it was a day likewise dedicated to the future, a future of service and progress that is expected to be as great or even greater than the 37 years just concluded. Yes, and they knew that when they welcomed the 28 millionth Ford car, representing more cars than any other manufacturer has ever built, they were greeting not a goal, but a milestone. A milestone on the road to many more millions of cars, each one opening new and wider vistas for dealer, 
for employee, for supplier, and for the motoring public. To those dealers and employees, and to all of us, that is the real significance of four-day at the New York World's Fair.